The makers of Astropad have just launched Luna Display, which is something that I think a lot of graphic designers are going to like. And they also have another app called Astropad, which I personally have been using for a long time. And I think it's a huge game changer for uh, any graphic designer with an iPad Pro and a Apple Pencil. Um, so I wanted to do this little graphic design news thing just to kind of show you guys what what they got coming up and also um, kind of show you actually what for the people who don't know what Astropad is I'm going to go into like what it is and uh, you know this works with it we're going to get more into this in the end basically uh, they've created a hardware like little USB port that um, is going to make a second screen and it's going to work better than you know, having an app trying to send all that information over. Um, it's just, it looks super seamless and definitely check it out. If you already know what Astropad is um, or you have it, you know, that's pretty much uh, the video. I'm just going to kind of show what it is next and everything. So definitely go check this out. It makes your, um, it makes your iPad a second monitor and it looks like seamless, seamless, not even really good it looks 100 percent perfect so definitely check this out and if you don't know what astropad is um stick around i'm going to give you a, a little uh, preview of astropad and tell you my thoughts on it okay so i got my ipad set up next to my computer monitor and when you open uh astropad you're also going to need to download the astropad app from their website install it to your computer and open that as well. Once that opens, uh, you're gonna get like a little window so you can choose the size of the screen. And we're just gonna click into there. And now we're synced up with Astropad. So I wanted to do this side-by-side -side comparison to show you exactly uh, you know, the speed and what happens and everything. So uh, right now we're in Affinity Designer and I have a pixel layer selected and I have a pixel brush and I'm gonna go directly over this and I'm just gonna write on here and now you can see uh, that as you draw on the iPad, it draws on the screen. This is a huge thing for you know having if you draw, but maybe some of your applications you know you wanna do more with and uh, having the power to just straight up draw like a Wacom tablet on an iPad is great. Also, I do want to mention this iPad is not plugged into anything. It's going off Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi is really good. So uh, as you can see the speed, like it's going really good. Um, let me go ahead and delete this layer and let's go to another layer and go back into the draw persona and we're just going to use the pencil so another thing this is good for is drawing just straight up using the vector thing that way we can kind of trace shapes and go back in and get them a little bit uh, better but it's a quick quick way to trace shapes now there's definitely a lot of things you can do with this and i'm using affinity but it is not limited to affinity in any way. Uh, let's go back up here and pick the tool, the move tool. And then we can go down here and kind of tidy some of this up. And as you can see, even zooming in is easy, zooming out. Um, basically, it is what it is. It's a Wacom tablet for the iPad. Let's jump into a screen capture and that way I can show you a little bit more, but I just wanted to bring this up. And before we do, I just wanted to show you that it's not, it's limited, it's not limited to any app or even the website. We're on, we're on Astropad's website. And as you can see here, I can use the tablet to uh, control uh, what we're doing and the whole thing here. So um, we can play videos. Let me play you a video. Introducing the ultimate. So, as you can see, this does work. That's how it works. Anything that's going to be on the screen, it's basically a Cintiq on the iPad with an app. And now we're back 
an AstroPad on the iPad, and uh, I'm going to kind of go over some stuff and show you guys what uh, you can expect from this app and kind of like, kind of just go over some things that I wasn't sure of before I got it and, uh, you know, kind of show you guys some stuff. So the first thing I want to say, it, it does have full palm rejection on it. So as you're drawing, if uh, you click the brush, like, yeah, you can put your palms down on the screen. Uh, no problem with that. As long as you have the Apple pencil, obviously. Um, and I will say this, this, this really kind of is for people who have the Apple pencil. Um, I, I don't think it'd be as cool without the Apple pencil, really just overall. Um, so as you can see along the sides here, the side here, uh, you do have some like cool options to like where you don't have to constantly be hitting your keyboard to do stuff. Um, you can click, you know, brush size, make the brush bigger and smaller. Um, you can switch back and forth with the eraser and then the brush. Uh, it's a little fidgety with affinity. Okay. So with, if you have Photoshop and you're a big Photoshop person, yeah, totally, man. You're going to love this. It's super, super integrated into Photoshop. Like, I don't have any issues with Photoshop at all, period. With Affinity, it definitely works really good, but it's not as integrated with Affinity. But I wouldn't let that, if you're an Affinity person, I definitely wouldn't let that, like, stop you from buying it it still works really good with affinity but uh just not as good as it does with photoshop but um you know they're definitely uh as the updates have been coming out they've definitely been fixing that as well so uh so let's go kind of with some other things you can and can't do and kind of like the pros and stuff of this so one of the big ones is you know, if you're doing like little work, you can walk around the house and sit in front of your TV and kind of like, like, let's say for instance, you got like a, a logo design you got to do. And, um, you can easily just kind of make a pixel layer go into the brushes and you can easily just kind of go out and do thumbnails. Uh, you know what I mean? Kind of like get stuff ready to go and then come back in with your vector and stuff, but you can definitely walk away from the computer with this and walk into different rooms of the house. And with the bar on the left here, you know, having your undos and just, you know, you got your shift, your control and command keys. Um, you can do what you need to do, you know, wherever you are. So that's a real plus. Now, the other thing I'm going to show you, speaking of that, is... Because the iPad screen is not the same width as the computer, sometimes like like here, okay, I have my color bar, you know, either A, if you want everything to fit into your panel properly, then you got to like move stuff into your panel or you can go here to full screen. And then now it's going to crop the top and bottom, but I have my full screen here and I can do whatever I need to, you know, and you're not going to have any issues. So that was something I wasn't sure of before I bought it. Uh, you can totally full screen and have all control of all the panels and everything. It's really great. So the next thing that I kind of want to talk about is um, the AstroPad. There's two different versions of it. There's AstroPad and there's AstroPad Studio. Actually, let me take that back. There's three different versions of it. They make a phone version for your iPhone. And um, so I'll just say this. It's pretty much worthless, but it's cool because it's free. And if you're one of those people who are like, ah, I don't believe the speed and I don't believe it's, its refresh rate is going to be as good as it says it is, Get the phone app, because basically that's what the app is. It just shows you that, look, it will run this good if you buy it. And it will, it, it, you know. So I would never really use the phone app, but it's cool for, it, it's got its purpose basically for showing people. 
that it will work good. Um, so there's Astropad and Astropad Studio. Astropad is what I'm in right now. Um, it's a $30 application, and that's it. You bought it, you own it, uh, end of story. It does have cool stuff, like I'm showing here. You got your, you know, you can do your brushes, and you can do stuff like that. Um, but Astropad Studio has more features. You can make custom like gestures and stuff like that. You can, uh, the refresh rate is way better. When you watch a video, it's a little choppy. And so, sometimes it will get a little slow if you really get into it on this. Um, as where Astropad Studio does it. So it's Studio, I, I was going to do a video like comparing the two and showing you what you can and can't do. And, you know, maybe you should get this if you do this. But I'm just going to come down and say this. Some people are the pay once and own it kind of people. And some people are the pay by the month kind of person. If you're the pay by the month and you got the money, go with Astropad Studio. It is better and it does do more things. It gives you more customization. If And it's it's about like seven or eight bucks a month. Okay. So it's not cheap. Um, but if you have the money, it's going to be worth it. Or... If you either or, you know, if you do just want to try it out and just do a month here and there, maybe got different jobs coming in and, you know, you just want to use it at certain times. Like, that's what I'm saying. This app is awesome. And if you're looking for like some kind of uh, Wacom, Cintiq, you know, equivalent, this is it. Depending on which version you want, like, I, I think you already know the answer to that. Like, so I, just certain people are like, that you know the whole thing with photoshop going to you know the monthly and then affinity getting more popular like you know certain people just are going to do what they want in that situation they don't think that the 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 studio version is like oh i can't afford that so i don't want the other one they're both really good now let's get into their kickstarter because the reason I did this video is they have a new Kickstarter out for hardware, and we're going to take a look at that and wrap this video up with that. And we're back on the Kickstarter page. So uh, I just want to go over a couple quick things. So it's $50. Uh, well, this is for early bird if you hurry up. Uh, it looks like it's going to be around 55 It looks like that's even early bird. So it looks like it's going to be around $60, i am guessing. Uh, but there's definitely a lot of different uh packages with it um and yeah this connects real seamlessly it even works with astropad making it better um yeah this just looks great i definitely think i'm gonna get in on this um this could be a game changer for you know a lot of graphic design work um i mean just even as graphic design goes it just looks really cool uh, and I think it's definitely worth it and you should definitely check it out if you are into it and you know what I might as well and just back it right now